Topping our morning rush, a lobbyist is accusing a state senator of sexual harassment and is now calling for him to resign. Lobbyist Mariana Anaya is accusing Democratic Senator Daniel Ivy Soto of using his position to force himself on her and other women. Anaya's attorney says that she'll be making a formal written complaint to the director of the Legislative Council Service. Ivy Soto says he looks forward to his due process. A man living in New Mexico is now facing life in prison after being convicted in a California cold case murder from the 1980s. Last year, 64-year-old Andre Lepur was arrested in Alamogordo for the rape and murder of 79-year-old Viola Hagencourt in Anaheim back in February of 1980. Detectives linked DNA found on Hagencourt's body to Lepur through a genealogy website. He is scheduled to be sentenced in May. Erica. Here's a look at the school day forecast. A very cold morning out there. Be sure to wear all of those warm winter layers, the hats, the gloves, the warm shoes, and socks. Today we'll make it to 55 degrees, but it's going to be very windy during the afternoon. Investigators with the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office say the man shot and killed in the South Valley last week was likely a home invader. Deputies responded to a home near Coors and Adenal where they found a man dead and a woman with a gunshot wound last Wednesday night. The woman's injuries were not life-threatening. No charges have been filed. The driver accused of killing a man while street racing is scheduled to be sentenced today. Police say Francisco Reyes Merlos was driving nearly 90 miles per hour down Montgomery in October of 2019 when he crashed into a car that Travis Dehart and his 15-year-old daughter were in. Reyes Merlos' sentencing is set for 10 o'clock this morning. A sharp turn in Albuquerque is now causing concern this morning because of its lack of signage. About a month ago, a very important road sign disappeared out on the far west side of town. It's where Trisco Vista turns into Paseo del Norte and makes a sharp curve east toward the city. A spokesperson for the city says that they will replace the missing sign by the end of the week. The mayor of Albuquerque is calling out state legislators saying they did not do enough for the homeless at this year's legislative session. The city requested $30 million for the Gateway Center but only got about 400000 The mayor says he would like to see a special session to deal with the homeless situation. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is high today. We are going to see mountain snow up north and very strong winds across the state. A man accused of robbing at least four Albuquerque banks is the subject of an FBI search this morning. Yesterday morning, investigators say this man walked into an enterprise bank and handed the teller a demand note. He's then believed to be the same man behind three other bank robberies since January 20th. Just before 5 p.m. yesterday, the FBI says this man wearing glasses and a plaid flannel shirt robbed the Western Commerce Bank on Wyoming Indian School. He had a splint on a finger of his right hand. If you know either of the men, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at numbers 505-843-STOP. Well, the U.S. and its allies have now started to roll out sanctions against Russia for sending troops into eastern Ukraine. The sanctions announced yesterday target two Russian state banks and several individuals linked to the Kremlin. President Biden has started moving some U.S. troops already based in Europe to the Baltic states. The three men convicted in state court for killing Ahmad Arbery have now been convicted on federal hate crime charges. Arbery was jogging in February of 2020 when he was chased, then killed by Travis McMichael, his father Gregory, and their neighbor, William Roddy Bryan. All right, let's get a look at the morning drive. Here's a check on the maps. It looks like we do have some slowdowns going east on I-40 near 6th Street. And Tracker is headed east on I-40 near 12th, and you can start to see some of those slowdowns. So give yourself some extra time, and don't forget to wear the warm layers as you're heading out. Well, here's something that we will probably never see again. Yesterday, a baby girl named Amani was born in Chicago at 2.22 p.m on February 22nd, 2022. Amani weighs six pounds, 12 ounces, and measures 19 and a half inches. She and her mother are both doing well. Welcome back. Here's a look at our hourly forecast today. We're starting in the low 20s. Ignore that 31. It's auto populated. But by the afternoon, we will make it into the mid 50s. So it'll end up being a mild afternoon with mostly sunny skies, but those winds are going to make it feel a bit cooler. Time now for the five X. At number five, research being conducted right here in Albuquerque could help cancer patients with rare mutations. Well, the Tapur study at UNM Hospital matches rare cancer mutations with promising drug treatments. Now, instead of looking at a specific cancer or mutation, researchers are looking at mutations in all cancers and whether a drug can treat that mutation. The trial is also being conducted at other medical centers across the state. Number four, now the owner of an award-winning show car is asking for help finding his prized vehicle after they stole it and the trailer that it was in from a gated Albuquerque business. Uh, Porfi Maldonado found out that his 1937 businessman coupe and the trailer it was in was stolen from his auto collision shop near I-25 in Gibson yesterday morning. 
He says it's not the first time his shop has been targeted by thieves, despite having fencing, security cameras, and alarm systems. And at number three this morning, a sharp turn in Albuquerque is causing concern this morning. It's because of his lack of signage. About a month ago, a very important road sign disappeared out on the far west side of town. It's where Trisco Vista turns into Paseo the North and makes a sharp curve east towards the city. Well, that makes for a dangerous situation at night. The spokesperson for the city says they will replace the missing sign by the end of the week. And at number two, it's going to be a windy day in the metro. We'll see those gusts up to around 50 miles per hour this afternoon coming in from the southwest. Finally, number one, a lobbyist is now accusing a state senator of sexual harassment and calling for him to resign this morning. Lobbyist Mariana Anaya is accusing Democratic Senator Daniel Ivy Soto of using his position to force himself on her and other women. Anaya claims the sexual harassment started back in 2015. Then now, as a lobbyist, she was required to work with Ivy Soto this past legislative session. She accuses the senator of drinking wine in his office and forcing her to drink as well, along with other accusations. News 13 spoke to Ivy Soto on the phone. He says he's horrified by the accusations and denies them.